Good morning, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to September. It's a beautiful month. It's a great time of year. It's probably a lot of people's favorite month and favorite favorite season is fall. There's so many tactile and beautiful experiences like the smells and the crunching of the leaves is one of my favorite things in the world is to ride my bike through crunching leaves that have fallen on the ground. So this is a month where over the last few years, I have taught the concept of figuring out the foundation of your spirit. And as we move through the practice of yoga throughout the month, I will be returning to this concept over and over. And I think because when we go through any sort of change, a seasonal change, maybe a location change, a job change, a relationship change, maybe it's just a small change in your life to truly know the foundation of your spirit, what drives you, what guides you, who you are beyond your labels is really important to help you navigate those changes. So September has historically been a wonderful time for me in my teaching to come back to this concept. And there's two ways to think about this that, that I think of, that I resonate with. We have a tree and a tree, I'm gonna say, has four main roots and those roots go deep into the soil. And whatever is going on above ground, whatever storms and chaos, the root system really helps keep that tree stable. So I like to think of the foundation of my spirit, much like a tree, and I have four main values or four main really important aspects to who I am that help me withstand the changes and the storms. You can also think of it this way. When we build a house or any structure, the foundation is the deepest part and the foundation is what the walls are built upon. It's what we see that is built upon this beautiful foundation. Without solid four walls, the rest of the structure is not going to withstand much. So as we go through the month, I will be asking you to think about four either roots or walls, corners that sustain you. They're the things that make up who you are, that are without them in your life. You tend to be a little bit lost. And so it's important to know these aspects of your spirit. And they're very different than the labels that we have, like mom, grandma, um, teacher. And so when I think about the labels that I have, they're important. I've worked really hard. I have a beautiful family. Um, I've worked really hard at my, at my career. And, but it doesn't, it doesn't make up the spirit of who I am. The spirit of who I am is compassionate. Um, the spirit of who I am is one of service. And so there's a couple more that I'll share with you over the course of the month. But those are two very important root systems uh, that support my tree, that, that make up who I am. And if I'm, not, if I'm not in those places, then I'm off my path a little bit. So the foundation of who you are is going to be the theme in which we dive into this month. And so I want to start with just a meditation to kind of get you into uh, the spirit by looking at our labels. So go ahead and find a comfortable seat. You can even be lying down for this. It's going to be a, just a contemplation. I'm going to offer you a few questions and maybe you journal about them. Maybe you sketch about them. If you're a doodler or a sketcher, maybe you just sit with them or walk with them or whatever feels best for you. So go ahead and first start to notice your breathing. Just notice the pattern of your breath. Don't adjust it at all. Just notice the inhale and the exhale. Yeah, just start to feel as though the silt starts to fall to the bottom. And there becomes a quietness in your heart and in your mind. There's a sweet spot in meditation that comes when we allow our body to be still. We allow the mind to clear. There's a sweet spot before we start to get busy again. So take just a couple more breaths here. Mm 
And I want you to, in, in your mind, I want you to intellectualize the labels like who you are. Male and female, brothers, worker, a retiree, a beach bum, a runner, a teacher, a doctor, a plumber, a nurse. And just start to peel those off. Just keep going with your labels as if you're identifying them and just setting them aside for a moment. Those labels that are important help define who we are in our physical life. And then as if there is a small container that just holds those labels, just set that container aside. And ask yourself again, without those labels, who am I? What is the foundation of my spirit? What aspects make up who I am? And some of your answers might be, I am peaceful. I am a giver. I am emotional, I'm strong, I'm determined, I'm compassionate, I'm vulnerable. And then start to go just a little bit deeper into that space in your heart. Can you identify one main value that holds up a portion of your spirit? One main value that is a root that anchors you through change. And it's okay if you don't necessarily find this easy. Maybe the mind becomes busy. Just let the seed be planted. That's where we're going to go this month. Sometimes when we have a hard time identifying the foundation of our spirit, we might go to our desires. What is the one desire that we have? And maybe the desire is to be successful. So a way to discover part of your value or your foundation is to ask yourself, why is being successful important? And the answer might be to be financially secure. And then you might ask yourself, why is being financially secure important to you? And the answer might be to have a life of ease. You might ask yourself, why do you desire a life of ease? And the answer may be, because I earned it, because I'm worthy. You might also have a desire to achieve something. Like maybe write a book, a poem become famous. Why? What's, what's the why of that desire? And maybe it's to influence people, to inspire others. Why is that a desire? And as you begin to peel away desire and why, it often leads you into a vision for your life and it leads you into that foundation of your spirit. It leads you into who you are beyond the label. And what's really fascinating and amazing is that most of the time 
the common denominator for every why is a version of love. We're here to be of service. We're here to love others. We're here to be compassionate. We're here to make differences. We're here to be in union. And so we, we peel away and we peel away and we get to the source of who we are. So that's where we're going to go this month. Maybe write down what came to you in your meditation this morning. Maybe just sit and hold it for a day or two and come back again and again. And be sure to join me for the yoga practice this week. It's just going to be beautiful and very slow and grounded as we work into that foundation. So hope you enjoyed it. We'll continue to, to dive deep into the foundation of our spirit this month. Welcome to September.